Ye that we say bye to ra. Bali is gnarly. It's good for life, life, life. It's good for life. Let's make banana bread. With a twist. With a twist. Ooh. I'm here live, developing news. Everyone's clamoring, everyone's wondering, what is the twist? The twist. We are making gluten-free banana bread. Yep. With orange zest and chocolate chip. Oh! Preheat your oven to 350. 350. That's what we're gonna bake the bread at. We also need two to three ripe bananas. We, Our bananas are not ripe. We have two unripe bananas in the house. Well, they're ripe, but just not very ripe. They're about as ripe as Serrano's fart this morning. <laughs> Don't put that I'll in. cut that, I'll cut that. I learned a little trick to ripen bananas if you don't have ripe bananas. You just put your bananas on a baking sheet and bake them for like 10 to 15 minutes. Live on the scene, I got reports of a revolutionary way to ripen bananas. We're gonna ripen these boys in the oven. Okay. You heard it, you heard it here first, folks. We got, we got a great shot right here. <laughs> we got the bananas and the bananas. Uh oh. Oh man, this is exclusive footage, exclusive footage. You won't get this anywhere else. You won't get this anywhere else. We want it really right. So right, it needs to be put in the trash. Amazing, amazing analogy. Now apparently our bananas turned into Italian sausages. I'm gonna cut it open. It's really limp and soggy. <laughs> this is great footage, this really is. looks like a poop. Second banana. Never want to be second banana. It's a life lesson. Don't do this without adult supervision. All right, poop that thing out. Oh! Oh! oh. All right, this, the oh. table's clean, right? Uh, I've been in the attic for a while. Match Hold on, let's up. get this. Let's get the audio in there. You won't get this on other YouTube channels, folks. <laughs> you won't get this. We are professionals. What about these ones? This one's getting a little. So, yes, we're also gonna use this half ripe banana. So, we're gonna use two and a half bananas. And then we're gonna use a full third or fourth banana on top. Is that in the video? No. On top of the bread. Now we have to do one teaspoon of baking soda. Mix her up. Mix it well. You can see it's getting kind of like foamy. You can see it expanding. One third of a cup of non dairy butter melted. <laughs> Making a mess. Don't try this at home, kids. This is harder than it looks. Hey, come on, let's go to the microwave. So to put something in the microwave, you open the door like so, and then you're gonna close the door firmly. 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Even if I have to microwave something for five minutes, I'm gonna click that 30 seconds 10 times. That's called efficiency. <laughs> All right, don't tell anyone, but I think this butter's not getting microwave. <laughs> Whoa. It's a little bit more than a third. Is that bad? That's hot. I actually drag it. This is just an Gross. ASMR channel now. Add the salt. This is what I call the underhand salt bay. You just toss it in. You just go. Stir is the word. Hey, what came first? What came first, the chicken or the egg? You tell me. Reply in the comments, what came first, chicken or the egg? Crack two eggs. Someone rogue on me, I barely got that on camera. Get this crack sound. Not a professional egg cracker. 100% of the shells in there. Mix her up. Mix, mix, mix. Can you make a mix pun? A what? A, a mix, mix, like a pun with the word mix. I'm so mixed up. <laughs> You're mixing me up. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I, don't I, don't, I don't even know how I would have answered that. <laughs> You're oh, mixing yes. me up. Pure Madagascarian. That can't be a right word. No, this isn't Madagascar vanilla extract. Don't put that in there. I wouldn't we dare. need our I wouldn't uh, dare. pure vanilla extract. Just a little splashy dash. <laughs> Mix it up. I feel like this whole video is gonna be us, us mixing. <laughs> You're mixing me up. <laughs> I'm all mixed up. Also, please take note that this bread is just for us, so we don't need to be as careful with it as we would be if we were baking it for someone else. What's that right. supposed to mean? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm all mixed up. She's all mixed up, ladies and gentlemen. We're making this um, banana bread with a twist, so the yeah. twist here Hold on. Did you say, is- Did you say twist? Here on the scene, Serena just said, we have a twist in the menu. On the menu. What's the twist? We're gonna put a little orange extract. Just a little bit. <gasps> a little dash. <sighs> Mix it up. We do things different here, y'all. Plant light in the background. <laughs> we forgot to add the sugar. That would have been bad. We need three fourths of a cup. That's a lot. Okay, so we did a little less than three-fourths. About half a cup. Perfect. Pour her in. 
What are we doing, Serena? We're mixing it up. <laughs> now, the other twist. Did you say other twist? Yet another twist. The twist. Wait, it's an orange, it's a what? An orange twist. It's getting everywhere. I live with an animal. We're gonna put some orange zest in here as well. I'm just living my zest life, yo. <laughs> Look at my girl Zest and Zest life is the best life. That was honestly like a, an arm workout. Leave no zest behind. That's what people want here. <laughs> Just a little. Because orange peels are very bitter. Just like me. Serena's let me put flour in it because she says she says I'm her special little flour. Do my best. Look at me putting this flour in. Duh. Who's flouring better than Phil? No one. That's on the dot. That's on the diggity dot, yo. My dump could have been improved, you know? A little more fiber, you better. Need a lesson, Phil. You scrape the side. Yeah. Okay, I'm learning. Look, I've been very open that I'm not a good cook. People are gonna see this change over the course of this series. I'm trying to lean over so we can get the, the you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Best part for last, baby, chocolate chips. Mm. Tell me one. That's good. I mean, that looks lit. Should I eat this? You could. Am I gonna get sick of the egg? Love the technique. Took the karate, you know, martial arts approach here. I'm like hunch, I look like a hunchback, I know what your name over here. Oh, shit. I'm not recording. Were you not recording any of that? No. Oh my god. What's going on? Really? You're kidding, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's happened before. I think we're ready to uh, shove this thing in the oven. Not Shoving bad. in the oven. All right, so you need a non stick pan. This is. That pan uh, wouldn't dare to stick. This doesn't stick, it's ceramic. This looks like a poop again. Mm. What was that noise? <laughs> <laughs> like it looks like a poop. Mm. Make a beat. I can see it coming in the air tonight. Yo, it's Phil and Serena. We don't get no better with this cooking, yo. We need it to be evenly distributed. Behind the scenes here. We're gonna slice our fourth banana. We're getting there. Who slices banana better than my girl? <laughs> You go bananas for the way I slice. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them in here randomly on top. My girl in abstract, Ortis. The more bananas, the better, they say. Okay, now we have this. We have to put it in the oven. 350 for 50 to 60 minutes. I err on the higher side. Good night. That's right. it. Here live on the scene with Serena. And I just wanna know, how, <laughs> how do you feel about the bread that we made today? It's gonna be really tasty. I can't wait to eat it. Good. There we go, folks. Banana bread with a twist. Yeah. Banana bread with a twist. That smells amazing. Taste test, final verdict. Cooked to perfection. Notes of chocolate, hints of orange, boatloads of delicious. I think you can really taste the orange. Look at that steam. One to ten. I'm a little biased, but I'm gonna say ten. Let's get that banana bread. Let's get that bread.